Hi everybody, this is Diana from So Very Crafty, and we are here today to make another one of my most popular posts on So Very Crafty, and that is the Fabric Closet Safe. And this is a terrific little project where you can hide your valuables among your clothes, no problem at all, using the pocket that we have in the front and also the bottom pocket where we put in our hanger. This is a fully lined fabric closet safe that has a free pattern. It's super simple to make and this video is going to show you step by step just how to do it. If you need the pattern it's going to be down in the comments section or you can head over to www.soberrycrafty.com to get the pattern and a step-by-step -step tutorial on exactly how to make this project. So why don't we get started here on how to make our fabric closet safe. So what do we need? We need some outer fabric, some lining fabric, some interfacing, and of course our pattern. And our pattern comes in four pieces. There's an A section, a B section, a C section, and a D section. All you have to do is tape those pieces together and cut them out and they come out into your fabric closet safe pattern. And as I stated, that'll be down in the comment section where you can just download the pattern and uh, cut it out. You're gonna cut out an outer fabric, in my case it's the yellow floral, a lining fabric, which is my white dot, and two interfacing uh, fabrics which is Pellon 808, which I'm using for my project, but you could use a fusible fleece that would work just uh, nicely as well. So it's really up to you uh, what you wanna choose. I chose the 808 for my project, um, but it doesn't matter. The, fe the fleece would work uh, fantastic in this project. You're also going to cut out a piece of uh, fabric for your pocket piece and that measurement will be given down in the comment section. You're going to have a two inch by one inch outer piece for your zipper tabs and two 14 inch zippers. That's all you need for this project and otherwise we are going to get started on how to create our fabric closet safe. And as I stated don't be intimidated by the zippers in this. They are super simple to make. You just need a coordinating zipper, um, very easy to do. But the first thing we're going to do is we are going to fuse our interfacing onto our exterior fabric pieces and onto our pocket piece. Fusible interfacing comes with a shiny side and a not shiny side. The shiny side has glue on it and the not shiny side doesn't have glue on it you're going to place the glue side down on the wrong side of your fabric pieces. You are then going to take a hot iron and you are simply going to press the, that fabric down onto the interfacing until the glue warms up and melts and fuses into the fabric. You're going to do the same thing to the, to the pocket piece as well. So I'm going to head over to the iron now and I'm going to fuse my interfacing not only to the outer pieces as I'm demonstrating to you here, but also to the pocket piece. It's very important that we want to have our pocket piece uh, interfaced as well. So let's head over to the iron and get that fused. Okay, so now we're back and we have fused our fabric pieces and it's time now to add our uh, pocket piece to our outer fabric piece. But before we do that, we are going to draw a line on our outer fabric piece using a friction heat erasable pen. I love these pens. I will put the link down in the comment section on where you can get them, but we are going to measure up six inches from the bottom and draw a line directly across our fabric closet safe pattern. 
just one line six inches from the bottom and that's going to be our guide for our pocket piece. We're going to place our pocket piece along that guide and we are going to simply pin it there because we are going to make our opening for our first zipper uh, in this pocket piece. And if you notice we have placed that so that the interfacing side is facing up so the two pieces are right sides together, in other words pretty sides together. Now we are finding the center of that piece and we're just going to make a mark because we want to make sure that our zipper is centered. So we found our center, we're going to measure down one inch and just make a mark. Now we're going to measure down another inch farther down our zipper area so that we can make sure that our zipper is straight and we are going to measure 14 inches so that's going to be seven inches on each side of the center so because our zipper is 14 inches long and we're just going to draw a line 14 inches long seven inches on each side uh, to make a nice straight line for our zipper opening then we are going to measure down three-eighths of an inch or if you feel more comfortable you can measure down a half inch if you want a little bit larger opening but I, I like the three-eighths inch uh, opening for my zipper tab so I'm just going to measure down three-eighths of an inch and draw another line and essentially what we're doing here is we are just going to make a long rectangular box we're going to join those lines with another line so that we've completed our rectangular box because that's the opening where our zipper is going to go for our pocket piece and uh, where we're going to hide our valuables. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make a dot on each end and we're going to draw little triangles and you can just eyeball this, there's no magic to it. And then we're going to draw another line joining those two triangles together. And we will see in a minute why we do that. All of these lines um, have a purpose. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to stitch all the way around our box. Uh, as we do that, that is going to be the beginnings of our opening to our zipper pouch where we are going to put our valuables once we're done. So we are simply going to take our fabric over to the sewing machine and we are going to stitch all the way around the box uh, making sure to turn crisp corners by stopping our needle at the corners and turning our fabric. So let's head over to the sewing machine and do that. Okay, we are back and we have stitched all the way around our opening. I don't know if you can see the yellow thread that I've used uh, to do that. Now we are going to take our seam ripper and we are going to open our opening along that center line. If you're not comfortable using the seam ripper you can use a small pair of scissors just to open just till you get to the point of that triangle, the top of that triangle. You do not want to go all the way to the end. So you're going to open that line all the way until you get to the tip of the triangle. Once you get to the tip of the triangle, you're going to pick up your small scissors and you're going to cut the little legs of the triangle up into the stitching line. But please make sure you do not cut through that stitching line or you will end up with a hole in your pocket piece and you definitely don't want that. So just cut up until you get to the, to the stitching line and you will be finished with the opening part of your zipper opening. So we're just going to finish up here with our uh, 
our little legs to our triangles and then we are going to turn our pocket piece so that it is to the back side of our closet pattern piece. So the way we do that is we are going to put our pocket piece through the hole that we have now created so that our lining or our pocket piece lining is through that center and it's going to create a hole or an opening in our pocket piece where we're going to place our zipper. So as you can see, once we have turned this, you can see that an opening is created where the zipper is going to go. It also is creating the pocket part of our uh, fabric closet safe. And we will show you in, in another step how to go about creating the actual pocket. The first thing we're going to do though is we are going to press this and because our friction pen is heat erasable, it's going to erase that line that we drew and it's going to press this so that we can add our zipper. So let's head over to the iron and press this. Now we're back. You can see our line is gone and we have a nice crisp opening that we uh, have created with our box and we have pressed it. So the next thing we're going to do is we are going to insert our zipper by simply placing it in the center of this box. You can see that it fits nicely in that 3 8 inch opening. Um, as I stated, you could use a half inch if you're more comfortable with that. Uh, larger opening, which for a beginner might be a better choice, uh, but for me I like the 3 8 inch. Now we're going to use a little bit of a sewing hack and we are going to use some scotch tape, uh, some clear transparent tape, and we are going to tape this zipper to our pocket piece and to our closet safe. We're going to tape a little bit on the front. Doesn't quite stick too well on the front, but it's going to work for our purposes for now because we're going to flip it over and we are going to tape also on the back to hold that zipper in place so that when we go over to the sewing machine and sew that zipper in place, it doesn't move. You could also use some basting tape, which I like to use, but I thought I, I would use this little sewing hack uh, for you here today uh, because it's a simple thing to do and everybody has scotch tape on hand so it's uh, a nice little little trick to use. Uh, you could pin your zipper if you like but I, I don't tend to like to pin my zippers. Uh, they never seem to come out very good when you do that. So now we are going to head over to the sewing machine and we are going to stitch all the way around our zipper along that creased or folded edge that we created when we created our pocket piece. So just head over to the sewing machine, sew that, and we will be right back and I'll show you what that looks like. Now we're back. Now you can see that we have stitched all around our zipper. Our zipper opens and closes uh, nice and easily. It's done. Now we're going to act, create the actual pocket. And all we have to do is take our pocket piece, fold it up. We are going to pin it at the top. And we are going to stitch along the top and along the sides of our pocket piece to create the pocket for our closet safe. But remember, when we stitch this, we do not want to stitch it to the outer fabric. We just want to stitch the pocket piece itself. So we're going to stitch along the top and along the sides. I like to use a quarter inch seam allowance. That's plenty for this project. So we are going to head over to the sewing machine and do that. Now we're back and we have completed our pocket piece. As you can see, it is sewn just the pocket piece. It's not attached to the uh, outer fabric. You open it up and you can see the lining 
and there's a pocket there that you can put your valuables inside without any trouble at all and we are done with the front part of our fabric closet safe so now for our next step we need to complete the zipper for our bottom part of our closet safe and the first thing we need to do is we need to add zipper tabs and those are the one by two inch zipper uh, little pieces of fabric and we are going to add those to each end of our zipper and the reason why we're doing that is because these 14 inch zippers are not quite long enough for our project so we're going to lengthen our zippers by adding these zipper tabs you are going to stitch the top end of your zipper near the zipper pull uh, together because that will make it easier to add your zipper tab. Then you're going to pin your zipper tab to the bottom end of your zipper uh, just above the stop because you don't want to sew over that stop or you break your needle. Um, you can sew right across these nylon zippers other than on the stop and that's fine. It won't hurt your needle at all. You're going to do exactly the same thing on the upper end once you've sewn across the top and joined those two ends together. So as you can see, once you stitched a stitch across the top there, you will add your zipper tab in the same exact way that you added the bottom zipper tab and you're going to put those right sides together so that when you open them up they will be uh, the right sides out for our next step of our project. So we are going to head over to the sewing machine and we are going to just stitch right across that zipper on both ends and create our zipper tabs. Now we're back and our zipper tabs are complete and our zipper has been lengthened as you can see. It's a little bit longer than the 14 inches that we, uh, that we had and it will be perfect size for our closet safe. Now we need to add that new lengthened zipper to our project. We are going to start by add, laying our front piece right sides up. That's the pretty side and we are going to lay our zipper right sides down. That's with the pretty side of the zipper down or the pull side down. And then we're going to take a piece of our lining fabric and we are going to place that wrong sides or right sides down at, like we're creating a zipper sandwich. So we have three layers here. We have the right side, the, the main fabric piece, the zipper, and the lining piece all lined up together. And we are just going to clip those using Wonder Clips. And if you don't have Wonder Clips, you could pin this, um, but I really like the Wonder Clips. I'll put the link in the comments section. So if you want to purchase some of those Wonder Clips, uh, you can. Uh, I think they're a terrific little sewing tool. So definitely if you have a chance to get some, uh, I would highly recommend them. So we are going to pin, or we're going to clip right along the bottom of our three layers of zipper and two layers of fabric. And uh, once we have done that, we are going to stitch right along the bottom near our zipper teeth using a zipper foot that most sewing machines come with when you purchase them. Uh, you are going to use a zipper foot with this and just sew right along those zipper teeth uh, close to the teeth if you can and uh, as you can see right along there and uh, that's going to connect the lining along with the outer piece of fabric to start our uh, lining. So now that we have everything clipped and ready to go we are going to head over to the sewing machine and sew that straight line along our zipper. Now we're back and as you can see we have sewn the lining to the outer fabric along that zipper. 
the next thing we are going to do is we are going to top stitch our zipper along that creased edge that's along our zipper teeth. And the purpose for that is to make sure that our lining fabric does not get caught in the zipper when we're opening and closing it. So we're going to press it and then we're going to top stitch. So we have come back and we have top stitched our uh, zipper and now we need to add the other side of our zipper uh, the same exact way that we added the front side of our closet safe. So we are going to lay down our zipper wrong sides down onto the other side of our closet safe. We are then going to add our final piece of lining fabric wrong sides or right sides down, strike that, right sides down. So we have everything lined up together and we are going to sew it in exactly the same way that we did the front side. So you have your zipper sandwich, stitch it and come back. Now we're back and as you can see I have stitched the other side of the fabric closet safe to the other side of the zipper. We have two sides now and a zipper in the middle and everything's opening and closing perfectly well and now it's time to move on to our next step of our closet safe. We are now going to take the uh, outer fabric pieces and we are going to line them up together and the lining pieces and we are going to line them up together and pin. So we're going to take just a, a few pins and we are going to pin all the way around our closet safe. Again, we have the lining pieces together and we have the outer pieces together. And please remember to open up that zipper before you start pinning because we are going to turn this closet safe right sides out at some point and that zipper needs to be open. If you forget to open that zipper you will have a hard time opening up this closet safe when it's time to turn. So let's pin our closet safe so that we can get moving on to our next step. I want you to keep in mind that you will be uh, pinning all the way around our closet safe but we are going to be leaving a two to three inch opening in the lining uh, on one of the sides of the lining so that we can turn it not only through the zipper but through the hole in the lining as well so when you pin make sure that you leave that opening open so we are going to just uh, go ahead and pin that and sew all the way around except for the top little curve outs. We want to keep those open because that's where our hanger fits. So let's go to the sewing machine. Now we are back and as you can see we have sewn around our closet safe except we've left those opening curves open so that we can fit in our hanger when it's time for us to do that. You can see that we're just clipping off some of our excess threads here and uh, getting our closet safe ready to turn right sides out. Uh, but I, I want to show you that we have left open those tops, top curved edges um, because that's where our hanger is going to go and we have left a an opening in the side of our lining so that we can turn our bag. So now we're going to turn our bag and we are back. We have turned it right sides out through the lining and through the hole in the zipper and we have everything working properly. The zippers are working fine pockets are there. Perfect. The only thing that's left is we have some raw edges at the top of our closet safe.
and we need to get rid of those. So we are simply going to fold those inside each other so that they are no longer raw edges and we are going to pin them so that they uh, can be sewn together using ladder stitch. If you're unfamiliar with ladder stitch, head over to YouTube, type in ladder stitch, and you can find numerous videos on how to do it. We are just going to sew that lining and that outer fabric together using ladder stitch so that it looks like there's not, <clears throat> so it looks like there hasn't been any uh, stitching at all there. Now we are back and we have finished our fabric closet safe. As you can see, the zippers are working. The top has been sewn using ladder stitch. You can't even see that there are any uh, stitching there. It's just perfect, ready to go to put our hanger in. So open up the bottom, put in a wire hanger. This is for a wire hanger as opposed to a plastic hanger. Uh, I hope to be doing a pattern for a plastic hanger at some point. Just stick the curved edge through the top and sew up or pull, pull the zipper closed and you are ready to go. This project is finished. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Uh, so I can give you more of these super simple sewing projects for anybody with basic sewing skills. Please don't be intimidated by the zippers in this project. They are simple to do. And once again, if you want more sewing projects like these, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that I can provide more of these uh, simple sewing projects. Head over to www.soverycrafty.com for more ideas and sewing projects there um, for pictorial tutorials. And I hope to see you there. Nice to see you here. Bye.